Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you are here. You found it. This is WCR Nation and thank you for checking us out. If it's your first time here, uh, have a look around. Uh, my name is Jersey, like I said. Hopefully this is not awful, uh, at least not the worst thing you've seen or listened to all day. And you go back and watch or listen to some of the previous episodes. This is going to be episode number 54, I believe. So you have lots of catching up to do. Uh, this is a weekly podcast. It comes out every Friday. It's on iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, all of those awesome and fun places. So check it out, listen, watch. But most importantly, comment, thumbs up, uh, and just enjoy yourself. Hopefully you learn a thing or two. Um, if you are one of the cool kids, if you are somebody who watches every single week or listens every single week, and this is part of your routine. What's going on? It is because of you that I get to do the show. Thank you so much for um, continuing to check it out and listen. And uh, iTunes numbers are just crazy. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and even more on top of that, if you are one of the elites, one of the cool kids, somebody who thumbs up every single video and... You comment, and you listen, and even more importantly, you buy your supplies through me. What's going on? It's because of you that I can afford an ice cream cake for my birthday. But thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to buy your supplies from me, I am a window cleaning resource rep. Uh, I am the best person you could possibly deal with to buy your supplies from, in my honest opinion. Um, so go ahead and call me uh, direct or shoot me a text. My number is 862-312-2026. And I know you guys uh, love when I go on little rants like this. But if you have questions on anything, if you have projects you want to bid, if you have uh, any type of questions, this is the Q&A episode. So if you have more questions, uh, anything, or you just want to say what's up, hey, I watched the show, tell me where you're at, tell me some things about you, shoot me a text. And let me know. I love, love to hear from you guys and girls. Every week, it's my favorite thing. So please do that. Um, my email, too, is josh at window cleaning resource. So if you have bids that you need me to look at or anything like that, shoot it over. Either way, what's up and welcome. So uh, I do want to start off with saying last week, we decided to give away a pair of of tickets to the huge convention. We only have so many. We're only giving away just a couple of these tickets. Last week we gave some away, and this week, if you want to win tickets to the huge convention, all you need to do is comment on the YouTube video. Anything. Good job. Bad job. I like turtles. Whatever you want. Comments on the video there on YouTube. We pick a random winner every single week. Random. Random generator is done. Uh, this week's uh, winner is BNA Cleaning Services. What up? You won. All you need to do is email me your information, josh at windowcleaningresource.com, and we'll get this out to you. So if you are going to the huge convention and you want to win tickets, comment right now. We're going to pick a winner next week, and it could very well be you. So comment down below. Share this out. Thumbs up. All that fun stuff. We appreciate it. A couple of shout-outs from the week. Uh, last week, what's up? Torsten from uh, Germany. I probably messed your name up, but what's up, man? Uh, watches or listens to the show, and uh, you're from Germany. I love hearing from people uh, from far away. It's pretty awesome. Hopefully, some of this kind of uh, passes along to how you guys do things. If not, at least it's entertaining to some degree. What's up to Trad Man? Tradman and Jordy from the Window Cleanse uh, said what's up last week's video. I want to go ahead and just say what's up to Tradman because I think last week uh, I was talking about Jordy, the Window Cleanse. This week, I want everybody to go out and watch Tradman's stuff. That's T-R-A-D-M-A-N. He has some awesome videos. Speaking of far away guys, he's from Scotland. So, uh, you know, he talks a little different, you know, but he's good to watch. He's a funny dude. Uh, his um, uh, beautiful bride is awesome. So watch his stuff. His videos are great. 
what's up to Tommy? Tommy, what's going on, man? Uh, and uh, I don't even know if Craig Henslet watches anymore or does. He was. It was in there. I haven't seen him comment in a while. <clears throat> But what's going on, man? I talk to him all the time also. And uh, finally, Sam Kerber. What's going on? So those are the shout-outs for this week. And let's just talk real quick about the huge convention. Huge convention coming up. It's in Atlanta. It's August 23rd and 24th. We talked about it a lot on a live I did with Chris Lambeau. Um, check that out if you didn't. Go buy tickets right now. TheHugeConvention.com. Just go. I'm not even going to talk about it. It's amazing. So... This week, we're going to be doing something that everybody does. It's a QA. and a I've been asked so many questions that I just do random answers. I just send them back, emails, texts, whatever, and I send them back. And I never even think about how these general questions um, could possibly help other people. So, I'm going to do a QA. and a because why not, right? And I want to say right now, if you are listening or watching and you have a random question, Send it in. Do it, do it, do it right now. Come back. Finish this episode later. But send it to me, josh at windowcleaningresource.com or text it to me, 862-312-2026. I can't get text pictures, by the way, or videos. So people always send me pictures or videos and then they get mad that I didn't see them. I can't get those because it's a void number. But text me your questions and we'll do a QA and a too. Um, with some more questions. Uh, we might even do it next week. So send them over as soon as you get them. No matter when you're watching this video, send them over and I'm going to start a list of them. So some of these fun questions, some of them are pretty uh, weak, but you know, they are what they are. And I talked a lot, a lot of this stuff. Now, like I said, we're actually on year number two. That's crazy, right? Uh, we've done it a whole year, so we've talked a lot, a lot of, about a lot of stuff. And this show being 30 minutes of me babbling into a little hole on my camera, I've talked about a lot of things. 30 minutes each time, that's a lot of hours that we've talked. Me and you just sat down and talked like this. So some of these questions, you probably already know. There's a lot of you out there who know more than I know. And there's a lot of you out there who just think these would be entertaining. So that's what we're doing. But send your questions for Q&A uh, Do that. It would be awesome, and I highly, highly appreciate it. So... Question number one is, how do I hire? Now, I get this question probably more than any question that I get. And it's not even how do I hire, but it's the process. And I'm going to go over that real quick for you guys and girls. This is the process that I do. I hire my employees through a payroll service or a temp agency. Uh, if you have an express payroll no endorsement for them, but I've used them in the past. Uh, they work really well. And my rep that uh, was from there was really good. No longer with the company, but certainly uh, check them out. Express Payroll, I'm pretty sure they're national. So here's the process. When I hire somebody, I still do all the crappy legwork. I still do the um, uh, the posts, right? I get people off Craigslist. I post there. I post on community pages, I post in the mom groups, I post on the uh, college forums and things like that. I post all over. You got to have a big net for employees. We all know employees in general suck. Yes, there's a lot of you out there, employees that are amazing. High five for making our world that much better. But there's also a lot of employee issues. Now, with that being said, I still do all that legwork. I find somebody that I want to hire. Say I want to hire uh, Joe Schmo, right? What I'll do is I call up my payroll service and I say, hey, uh, my rep's name was Tim. I say, hey, Tim, um, I have a new employee starting. Uh, he'll be starting on Monday. And uh, he goes, great, I'll be there at 9 a.m. Uh, actually, it's usually like 8 a.m. because we're out by 8.30, blah, blah, blah. I'll be there at 8 a.m. Okay, perfect. So on Monday, I make sure he's there at, the employee, Joe Schmo, is there at 8 in the morning. And uh, Tim shows up at 8 with a briefcase. He says, hey, what's going on? I say, hey, how are you? He takes him into the other office and they talk shop. Now, what do they talk about? They talk about um, the pay. I've already told him what I'm paying him, but he talks about that. He talks about all the benefits that they bring. So going through a temp agency, they have um, term life, term disability, 
uh, vision, dental, all the insurances that come with it. Yes, that's all included in this percentage I'm going to tell you. Um, they also get uh, certain benefits for time off, paid holidays, and all that. Also through this percentage. I don't pay any extra money. All those benefits they talk about. They do all the paperwork for the filings and all the stuff. Because now, Joe Schmo is technically an employee of Express Payroll. Um, a lot of people will say, well, that's not your employee. It's not, technically. And there's a lot of perks to that. I don't have to have an employee manual. Uh, we do, but I don't have to have one because I don't have to let or terminate anybody go because of the employee manual. Um, when they are a temp, that employee is considered their employee and they're only yours to use. So if that person, you know, makes fun of my uh, crooked nose or something, <laughs> or I don't care, um, whatever they do, and I don't like it, I can let them go. And uh, it doesn't happen because obviously when you find good people, you find good people. I have had issues with some people who really, really, really went off the deep end and just instantly in one day just turned into hot garbage. And uh, there was a lot of cussing involved with him and a random person wasn't even a customer. It was just completely unprofessional. Uh, I talked to the guy and uh, let him know. Like, dude, just can't have that. Sorry, man. If you don't even want to do the firing, you can let them know. You call up the employment agency, say, hey, uh, Joe Shimo, I no longer want working here. They say, oh, sorry to hear. Okay, great. We'll let them know. They call them up and break the bad news. So that's a perk in itself. But like I said, term life, term disability, uh, dental vision, all that fun stuff. My percentage that I paid was 38%. Now, you say, wow, 38% is kind of high. That means if I'm paying an employee $10 an hour for even numbers, we're at $13.80. But that also includes workers' comp. Workers' comp. Because it's theirs and they're putting it into a giant pool of workers' comp. Now, workers' comp rate, I was like 35% just by itself for workers' comp. Something like that. Depending on what you do, it can vary, I guess, and statewide and different agencies. But that's really what the going rate is somewhere around there. So for an extra few percent, they also get all of the health care that I can offer. Full benefits. Are you able to offer full benefits? That's super expensive. So full benefits, I get to offer all that, plus the perks of not actually having them work there, plus I can have them for as long as I want. So not like a temp agency, they don't just work there six months and then I got to find new people. So it's amazing. I would 100 million, thousand billion percent tell you to go ahead and do that. That's how I hire. I think, I'll go out on a limb and say, I think that's how you should hire too. But you can't do anything wrong. It's your business, so take it with a grain of salt. But... That is how I do it. Definitely look into it if you haven't. Um, do I use homeowner's water when pressure washing or doing pure water cleaning? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. For the most part, I will always use the homeowner's uh, water source or the clients if it's in a commercial setting. The only time we won't is if we need a lot of water or portable. If you're doing like a playground or something like that for an HOA or community, you'll have to bring your own water, obviously, and that's in the pressure washing side of things. But people always go, well, don't people, aren't people mad? I have lived in Wisconsin and North Carolina. I have not been in California where you guys are in your drought and water issues and uh, holds and everything else. So I don't know. But no, I've never had anybody angry about that. It's uh, worst case scenario. It's as much water as if they let the sprinkler run. And we're doing the outside windows, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes maybe? That's about average of what you're running a sprinkler for anyway. Uh, so no, no one cares water-wise. It's not costing them a bunch of money. Um, and it's what we do to use water. So yes, we use homeowner's water. Uh, what is the best scrubber sleeve? Um, it's personal. It's all personal. But my absolute favorite is the Unger Ninja sleeve. I think that's probably my favorite um, I didn't really prep on these questions, um, so I can't tell you uh, pricing and things, but give me a call and or text me, 862-312-2026, a little plug, and I'll let you know. But that's my favorite sleeve. Uh, it holds a lot of water, not too much water, but it holds a good amount of water and it scrubs amazingly. Um, that's probably my number one sleeve. Now, when you run employees, depending on how you run it, 
each guy wants something different, so you can't have necessarily all of it, but we end up having multiple types of sleeves. That's one of them. I also used to run Pulex Micro Tigers, which are the red and white ones. Uh, really good scrubbing on those, but they blow out and kind of go bad, I guess you'd say. Uh, pretty quick. Uh, not pretty quick, but in a couple months. Um, so we don't use those as much. The guys don't really dig those. Uh, but the other one is the Ettoray microfiber that is another one that we have so but my personal favorite is a ninja try it out it's awesome i like all the ninja stuff actually if you dig wide body stuff it's awesome if you even throw a ledger um legend channel in there or if you're running sorbo sorbos can be taken any wide body channel they're all the same shape for the most part that could be used with an in unger ninja handle Unger makes such amazing stuff. Like, this is not an Unger plug, but they do. If you just get your hands on it, it's amazing. I love Unger. Uh, that's my favorite sleeve. So, uh, the next question is, what's the worst thing that has ever happened to you while window cleaning? Now, I know Jeff Scott is too busy to be watching or listening to my podcast, so I'm going to say this. Jeff Scott, first and foremost, if you ever, 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 ever need training on high-rise, hire him. Uh He's absolutely phenomenal. He's the best teacher I've had for anything like this. It's amazing. But I did a building, and I was with him. He was right next to me, just like what they do, all the training. When you finally get to go on the building yourself, he is literally right arm's length away from you. What I did was I did the first drop on a 13-story uh, building, tiered out to like 185 a rope or something like that. So up there, a little ways. Um, and it was an easy climb out simple uh parapet but the downside was was it was an angled parapet so you kind of had to like shimmy down this thing and uh hold the parapet as you're lowering yourself down now as you people who have seen me in real life or seen me on camera i am what i consider a full figured male on the fluffy side i have uh soft edges if you will i let myself down on the second uh run of this i was confident i got over my fear of heights oh my gosh this is amazing and I forgot to lock the rack. My stupidity and my kind of rushing. Now, I'm all the way hanging on the side of the building. I'm holding on to it. I, my fluffy self dangling. My feet are on the chair, but the chair just keeps slowly going down. I'm thinking it's rope slack and just too much. And all of a sudden, my brain clicks it like, you forgot to lock the rack. All that means, you take the rope from the bottom of the rack, run it over the top. It's just pressure. It stops it so you're not moving. Now, if this offer does happen... In theory, if you're in the chair, well, your weight of it is going to slow you down to the point where you can grab the rope, drop it over. But my dumb brain didn't say that. Jeff's asked me, what's going on? Talk to me, talk to me. And I just pulled myself back up over. No harm, no foul. It really, I was locked. Everything was perfectly fine. Nothing could have happened. But my brain thought differently. And uh, I did that drop. And since then, I can never do high rise ever again. I've tried it on four story buildings. I've tried it on tall, but I could never do it again. I couldn't get my other leg over. I just couldn't. I'm locked up. Nothing happened. That was like the worst thing that ever happened, though, because it screwed with my brain, and uh, you can't really fix things in the brain. So now I sub out high rise. <laughs> there you go for that. That's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I really haven't done anything. The second worst, real quick, walking around a building, looking up, and I walked right into a cement pot. Sounds dumb, there's no harm, but I was walking and kicked it with my shin, and I swear to you, I broke my leg, but I didn't. I just ripped the front of it up pretty gross and got blood all over, and I had to come back of the pressure washing unit to clean up the pot that I ruined to some degree. So, that's the worst that's ever happened to me. Tell me, I would love to hear down below the worst that's ever happened to you during window cleaning and pressure washing, just for poops and giggles, just so I know. The next question is, why is my nose crooked? I, I think because I bring it up, it's like, I'm really not self-conscious of pretty much anything. My nose is crooked because when I was in high school, some buddies, we all got uh, boxing gloves. One of our friends did, so we were going to box. I was putting my gloves on, and one of my buddies hit me before I put my gloves on, caught me off guard, and then I just didn't get it fixed. There you go. I will have to get it fixed because my septum issues where I can't breathe. I'm a mouth breather now you ever see me i'm a mouth breather i mountain bike and i mouth breathe so anyway that's why my nose is crooked i also had somebody comment the other day on live chat that i'm balding and they were just uh trolling but they were saying how i'm balding 
SOB. I don't know. This is just like typical old white guy hairline. I don't know. I don't know if I'm balling. Don't care. There you go. Don't give two dumps what you think. But anyway, that's why my nose is crooky. crooked. Uh, LLC or s -Corp. Uh, I've always been an LLC. There are some tax benefits to an S Corp, but I'm not going to answer this question because you need to talk to a tax person. They can really tell you in your area, federally, locally, why one is better than the other and the benefits. And I'm not going to do that. But if you are figuring out what kind of uh, incorporation you are from sole proprietor, talk to a tax prof talk to a tax professional. That's the cliche answer. But I've always been an LLC, so if that's anything for you. Um, what discounts should I offer? Um, here's a big kind of interesting question. People talk about discounts like you're handing out cancer. It's awful. People hate discounts. They'd say you're discounting and you're... Listen, I'll do a discount if it's the slow time of year. We've talked about this. If I'm right now, busy time of year, going crazy and somebody goes, oh gosh, that's too high. I say, hey, I could take 50 bucks off your bill if you let me schedule it in August. August 13th is where we are right now. That's because it's slower for us. It's not our busy time. I could fit you in then. It helps us out. It'll help you out. Oh, wow. That's great. Boom. Discount, yes, but I filled up slow time where I'm sitting on my thumb anyway. I'm fine with that. The only actual discount that I offer is a uh, military discount. And the only reason I'll do that is because there's a lot of people in the military I... Uh, appreciate and respect everybody in the military. Um, but people always ask, do you have any discounts? Do you have any discounts? And if you say no, they go, oh, you don't have any discounts? I mean, it's kind of, who cares what they think? It's your company. Don't get too dumps about it. I have to go back to saying that a lot. Um, but I say military discount because when anybody's asking, it's usually cheap people, but sometimes it's the elderly, sometimes it's whatever. I always say, uh, we do offer a military discount. Now, are you in the military? If somebody lies to me, whatever. Like, it's a $20 discount. I lie, that's on your conscience. But most people are like, oh, no. And they, they get it, right? Military discount, that makes sense. No, I'm not. I don't qualify for that discount. Oh, that's too bad, right? But it's something. It gives them something. And if somebody is in the military, then it's a great little way to kind of say, hey, what's up? Respect you. Uh, yeah. Either way, uh, people who know me, military family. So that's why I do that. Maybe you should too if you want to do a discount. Some people do elderly discounts and some people do any kind of discount they want. Um, I don't. I do one. It gives me an opportunity to give a discount. And it gives me an opportunity to tell people, sorry, you don't qualify for the discount. So that's what I offer. What is my favorite water-fed pool? Now, okay. Okay, we want to do this? Let's do this. So I am going to get in um, uh, words with people because everybody has their own water-fed pool that they really, really love. And I'm taking high modulus out of the equation because high mod is amazing. It's incredible. Hold the high mod, hold the carbon fiber, and carbon fiber looks like dog crap. But with that being said, I run carbon fiber. Not for any real other reason, but the difference in price from regular to uh, uh, high mod is quite significant. Um, if you're running employees, do you want to have that pole? It is stiffer, and it is lighter, and it is more money. So that's completely up to you. But taking that out, we're just talking carbon fiber, which is the most uh, popular compar composite. <laughs> 100 to 1, maybe. Um, and I'm going to say my favorite pole of all time, of all brands, of all kinds, would have to be the Unger Enlite carbon fiber. Now, everybody goes, what about the Zero? I love the Zero. For the price, I love the Zero. It's a great pole. At that price point, there's nothing that touches. It is amazing. It is just awesome. It is a facelift, so facelift uh, cloned pole. Love that. Just the dimensions, this, just the, I love the pole. The pole is awesome. But at that price point, it does not go over 40 feet. It does not go telemodular like the end like that. So I always say, if you need to go over 40 feet, go with uh, the Unger. Uh, Tucker makes an awesome pole also. Uh, I dig the Unger personally, just a hair bit better. Uh, sorry to Sean on that one, but that's my personal thoughts. Uh, but I do like the clamps on the uh, Tucker a uh, heck of a lot because they're aluminum. They last forever. But weight-wise, 
and uh, everything. I do dig the Tucker or uh, the Unger a little bit better. Now, if you don't need to go over 40 foot, go with the Zero. I dig the Zero. I really do like that. It's just price wise half the cost of the end light, uh, and you're getting a great pull. You're not getting junk pull for half the price. So it's awesome. You got to go over 40 feet, go with the end light. Uh, any of those other series poles, um, definitely go from there. Those are my opin opinions. Everybody's opinions are different. They're just like uh, buttholes, right? Everybody's got one. Some stink worse than others. So sorry if I didn't agree with you, but that's my opinion on water fed. Um, why buy a Ferrari if you are only going to the grocery store? That's what my wife always says because that's one of my cliche things that I say. Uh, listen, if you ever call, I truly want to put my name on things and say, hey, this is what I recommend. I don't want to tell you you have to buy the more expensive thing. So 90% of the time, somebody says, I'm never going over 40 feet. I like the zero. You're saving half the money for a great pull. If you got to go over 40, then you're in the end lane. Whatever. There you go. That's my favorite waterfront pull. Again, high modulus. When you're at the huge convention, because I know you're going, check out the, um, the Zero Pro carbon fiber and the Ultimate Zero Ultimate, which is high mod. Put the two side to side and see which one's your favorite. Um, there's a big difference. You'll like it, though. Uh, what's my favorite pure water system? We're doing this. I guess we're doing this. Okay. So for pure water systems, there's really three categories. There's unpowered. There's powered portable and there is truck mounted i guess you'd say a true trailer mount, whatever a tank based system so out of those three my favorite unpowered system is the zero you're right the zero made by ipc eagle uh awesome company it's just amazing it works it just is what it is it's just super super solid machine our best selling system it is stinking awesome now what about the Tucker? The Tucker is just like the Zero, except for it doesn't have a stainless steel housing, and the DI is a little bit smaller. Also, the wheelbase is smaller, so uh, if you like wider, a little bit more stand-up sturdy, uh, the Zero is the opportunity. Now, pros and cons between the two systems is the Tucker is going to be a lot lighter because it uses less resin, just means you have to change a little bit more, and it uses PVC housing. It means it's a little bit less durable, but you save the weight. But I still go with the Zero pure uh still my favorite unpowered system uh for powered it's got to be the ipc hydro cart electric there's a lot of other versions and yes you could put a pump on the uh zero pure but for flow for just my ultimate all-time favorite system in all of the world is the ipc eagle hydro cart electric uh, I like the electric better than the battery, and I like the electric better than the, the gas. I don't have to listen to a loud gas engine, and I don't got to haul around a big battery on the system. That's why I like it. Uh, but you're talking price-wise significantly more than the Zero, but it flow-wise is ridiculous. I run three poles off the thing. I could do a three-story apartment building, one on three, one on two, one on one, walking down the thing, and uh, it's just so fast, so awesome, so good at rinsing. Um, and for the portable, uh, sorry, truck mount version, uh, I have to go with the fill and go Tucker. Uh, the fill and go is incredible. It's one of those sexiest systems out there. It just looks like a, like a Decepticon, right? It's just, it's, it's, I don't know. It's awesome. It's super sexy. Uh, 50 gallon tank. Everything's on the side. But the nice thing is, is that a dual user has two outgoing pumps one booster for in two outgoing so each user's on their own pump it doesn't care what the other's doing you don't feel fluctuations if one's on or one's off doesn't care and each line runs their own remote and there are reels built into the system you just pull your reel and you're out working it's ridiculous there's also a float valve in there so you don't have to worry about filling it just fills and it fills into pure so you always got pure water it's awesome. If you're going that route, uh, tank base, or you want to run uh, completely portable, um, trailer mounted, I should say, not portable, um, fill and go. Tucker for the win on that one. Um, what is my least favorite part about what I do? So business-wise, I'm taking it you mean... Like in my window cleaning company, what service do I hate? Least favorite, yeah, least favorite job. So I imagine that's what you mean. So um, in service, we do window cleaning, interior, exterior, uh, gutter cleaning, uh, screen cleaning, and pressure washing and all facets of that, plus roof cleaning. There you go. 
And out of all of that, my least favorite is by far gutter cleaning. I hate gutter cleaning. You want to know why gutters clean smell so bad? Because that's where squirrels go poop. That's a fact. That is not really a fact, but that's what I think. Gutter cleaning is gross. If you're not using a vac, gutter cleaning sucks. Even with a vac, it still gets stained and dirty, and it's just gross and smells like a bowl of farts. It's awful, awful. I hate gutter cleaning. But it's a necessary evil. Well, you're up there. Could you clean the gutters too? Well, sure. Our minimum is $249. You want them done? Great. Gutter cleaning is one of those. You make great money doing it because other people don't want to do it, and they hate it. It sucks. You're already up there. Make the money, but it sucks, and you're not going to see a smile on my face while I'm doing it. Just not. I, 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 I hate gutter cleaning. Whatever your most dislike is, comment down below. Um, and this last one seems like a loaded question, but is it worth spending the money on conventions? So, not just the huge convention. I'm not even talking that. I'm talking about conventions in general. Now, there are classes... And the guy I was talking to was talking about classes also. Now, classes are different than conventions. A convention is uh, an event that's put on in a general location that has uh, classes there, uh, but speakers and uh, trade show, usually, some of that kind of stuff. Those, 100% yes. Awesome. Awesome. I always tell people, the best investment I ever made for my business, tells you how long I've been in business, I guess, is a GPS. Like, we used to do map quests and then have to go from, like, job one and the map quest from job two to job three. It was awful. If you got lost, you're... It was awful. That was a while ago. Now, the best thing you can do for your business, now that GPSs are out, is going to conventions. Not just, oh, well, I don't really want to go look at the speaker. Somebody jumped on one of the things and said they've been in business for 28 years, never went to a convention because they're a waste of money. That's awesome. Like, that's a horrible attitude to have in a business. You you obviously don't quite care too much to see what they're even about. But here's what they're about. You go. I've been going for so long. I have my best friends in the world there. I get to hang out with them. That's number one. For me, I love it. But as a business side of things, what you're getting out of it, you're going to talk to people who know exactly what you do and exactly your headaches, your loves, your job, everything. Everything you can't talk to your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend about, you get to go to these conventions and shoot the stuff with people who know exactly what you're talking about. It's great. The other thing is, is I've picked up so many things from conventions sitting in a bar or a restaurant or, uh, you know, uh, uh, the lobby or just walking around talking to me. Oh, great. Nice to meet you, man. Where are you from? stupid little things plastic gift cards we've talked about how many times that was from the convention i still remember that was like my first or second convention i was ever at long long time ago and the guy told me and we're talking about it and my brain just literally was like it was like a floodgate just it just opened up and i'm going oh my gosh there's so many things i can do with it, it was one of those things that instantly implemented it i had designs laid out before i even made it back to my house from that convention Ordered them up, and within no time, I was making thousands of dollars more every year because of those. Easy. I'm talking about like $10,000 plus. It's just one of those things that you can implement. It's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? There's a lot of those versions where you think of this stuff, and I think temp agencies was one of them too. It's like, how did I not think of it? It sounds so stupid, but I'm telling you. You will learn so much information, not just, yes, you are awesome already. You know a lot. Your business is amazing. You watch and listen to this show, which means you care about your company. But I'm telling you, the convention show is so worth going to. I know. It could cost you $1,000 for tickets and hotel rooms and, and flights and all that. Yes. But I'm telling you, there you'll get that back by the end of the year by what you learn. I'm telling you. And not just the huge convention. Yes, that's my favorite. It's the biggest. I get that. There's a lot of other shows that are around. Now, the only thing I'm not super huge on is specific classes put on by people. Now, if you want to learn about parking garage cleaning, go to a Torvini class. Like, that is where you learn those. Like, if you want to learn safety, you go to a Draper's class on safety. Like, those are specific. I get that. 
But when you go to like a school of where you kind of go to a three-day class on learning how to be a so-and-so or something, I don't know that there's that much benefit because you're going into a total group of like 20 people, 10 people. Like those are cool if they're in your neighborhood, like the littler stuff, but I just don't get as much when you're not around so many people. So those are my thoughts on that one, but definitely go to that one. Uh, if you can't make it to the convention, do that. You're going to love it. It's amazing. And I'm telling you, your money back guarantee is if you don't learn and make that money back from what you've learned at the show, the next year you don't even have to go. That's my guarantee because I'm not paying you back. Because I know you're going to learn uh, enough to get that money back tenfold. It's just bettering yourself, bettering your business. And they're freaking fun. There's a hog hunt this year. By the way, I'm going on the hog hunt. So if you don't uh, have anything going on Tuesday, the week of, sign up for the hog hunt. I haven't signed up for it yet because I had to get everything in order, but I'm pretty sure I'm going. So check it out. Do it. And that's our Q&A. I really appreciate you guys checking us out for our first Q&A. I want this to be a regular thing. I love it. Um, submit your questions. Send them. Don't be shy. Who cares? Just send them. Send them. Be like, this is a dumb... I just did a bunch of dumb questions with good questions. Send them with everyone. Tell me what was your favorite color. What's your favorite flower? I don't care. Uh, make up some awesome questions and shoot it to me. Text it to me at 862-312-2026 or email it josh at windowcleaningresource.com. More importantly, buy your stuff from me, big or small. I don't care. Everything, everything you put in, any order you put in, order it through me. That's literally how I get like my virtual high five. That's how I make my dough. So I would love to do that. And a lot of people put their stuff, they shop all night. They get done with work. They've been putting it in there for a couple weeks, building up their cart. Finally, they're like, dude, what up, Jersey? Um, everything's in my cart. Let's put the order in. That simple. I get credit for it, and you are a rock star for doing that. So thank you very much. And if you want to win free tickets to the huge convention, uh, go ahead and comment this week on the episode on YouTube, and we'll pick a random winner next week. So thank you very much for checking us out. And until next time, go out there and be epic.